All right, in this episode, I'm going to show you how to burn data to a disk using image burn. First thing you want to do is gather all your data together that you want on your CD or DVD. And I usually put it in one folder. That way I have everything all together. The other thing you can do is make a new folder and then call it whatever you want. Um, the name of this folder will end up being the name on our CD or DVD. So you can name it something something appropriate. In this case I'm going to be burning some Apple product manuals. So I'll just name it Apple manuals. What you want to do is place all of the data into that folder. Which I'm doing now. As you can see, it's named Apple Manuals, and those that's all the data that we want to burn to a CD. So now at this point, once you have everything together, you can start image burn. And from here, we want to write folders and files to disk. So you can go ahead and click on this one. And this screen is where we're where we'll choose our folder to burn. So you want to choose the third icon down, which looks like a folder with a magnifying glass. Click on that. Now at this point you simply want to just highlight the folder. And then select folder. And this will add our folder to the list. So at this point, make sure that your correct burner is selected. And you want to hit this icon here, or button. This is just basic information here. Now at this point, the ISO 9660, this is what our name of the CD will be right here. And it's just asking us if we want to use that label or we can name it something else if we want. But we'll say yes. It's basic information about the size of the folder. Let's click OK. This shouldn't take too long. All the data on my in my folder is rather small. I'm just doing this as a test. While we're waiting, down below, this will give you information of what is being done at that time. It will also show you the progress. Now we're almost done. Now 
this works for CDs and also works for DVDs. When burning the DVD, you want to check and make sure all your data is at least over 700 megs. That way you're not wasting a DVD. Alright, almost done here. Once it's done, a dialog will pop up and say that the burn is complete. Mine's actually going a little slow because I'm burning to a uh, CD rewritable. Now once it's done, you just click the OK. You can actually close out of the image burn. You want to check it going to my computer. And then, there we go, Apple Manuals, you can open that up. See, that's where all your data is now residing. And back in your folder, all your data is still there in the folder as well. So you can delete that or do whatever you want with it. And that's it for this one.